Last time on Unheard. There's only three people who know what really happened two years ago. Whoever's blackmailing me this time, I highly doubt they have anything legit. You're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? A break. Yeah, but what if someone really did murder her? First in line to see them so that's what. We need to check the blocking box one last time. As soon as that's done, we'll get started. Any orders from our dear director, Four Eyes? Just wants you to double check all the props. Huh? Who'd be calling me now? Emily's number. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm calling this number. Let's see who answers. You? Why? Something else to double check? Uh, I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything all right there? You ain't normally one to go around forgetting stuff. Interesting. Then someone used the director to commit the murder. Mm hmm. Manipulated him right up the ass. Congratulations, detective. You've passed the test. <gasps> Unfortunately, did. there's oh. no time to celebrate. The real work is about to begin. Oh. I can't even have like a sandwich or like a little slice of cake. No. Right back to it. What's this? The four events you just oh. examined all happened in the past. Okay. Now, we need you to use the acoustic detective system to figure out a currently unsolved case. That's also in the past. This one <laughs> involves another explosion. Oh. Only in a mental hospital, rather than a police station. Oh. It's... How should I put it? Mm, peculiar. Peculiar? A number of agents have already attempted to solve it. None of them succeeded. And there were... Complications. And there were complications. Ooh. Okay. This is gonna take forever. Oh my god. 14 dudes. Who are the real mental patients? Who is Ghost? Elvira, Tony, McMurphy, Oscar, Mr. Director, Jennifer Ray, George, Maestro, Nellie Spoon, Emily, James. Scott. Wait a minute. Hold on. Mr. Director, Maestro, Emily? Those are people, those are names you've seen before. Okay, who do we follow? Let's, let's explore, all right? Let's explore. We got the reception area with three guys. Huh. And we weren't allowed to move until we hit play. Ah, uh, there's an office. Hallway. Office. Oh, office overlooking the main room. Two guys in it. Office with nobody in it. Office? No, that's not an office. That's some kind of fucked up machinery. Two guys in there. Oh my goodness. Two guys in the... This looks like maybe like a little nurse's area. Bed with straps. Nobody in it. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, a guy in the hallway. Guy out here. Guy in here. You're next. Oh, that's cursed. And two dudes peeing. My goodness. Okay. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of guys. This is going to take forever. Let's follow this guy. Hello. Welcome in, officers. How can I help you? I heard your siren. I'm Elvira. This is my partner. Are you in charge here? Yeah, yeah. I am the administrator of this facility. To what do we owe Yeah, this yeah. You look a little young to be running this place. Anyway, we're here to investigate reports of an escape. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. About that. We're dealing with it in Oh, broken window. It's a minor incident. Not that big of a deal, really. Not that big of a deal. This is a mental institution. Some of our patients are highly agitated, and a few from time to time attempt to escape. This one happened Ooh. to be successful. 
We have people out searching. But often the patients return on their own volition after a day or two. How did it happen? This time, I mean. Mm. Hmm. Let me recall. I was... Ah, right. We were having a therapy session when the patient suddenly picked up an ashtray and hit me on the head. Then jumped out the window. The head the seems window. fine to me. Oh, it wasn't a heavy blow. And in this profession, you must be prepared for these sort of outbursts. Roar with the punches, as they say. Uh, truth be told, mm. this situation is very embarrassing, mm -hmm. which is why I didn't want to call the police. You might not have called us, but someone did. You also confirmed that one of your patients escaped, which means we're now legally obligated to investigate. A psych case on the loose poses a threat not only to themselves, but to the public. Take us inside. We'll need to interview the other inmates. And get us their files. Interview? You want to talk to them? Where are the patients? Just show Ooh. us the way and we can conduct the investigation ourselves. Well, if you insist. This way, please. Hmm. How did this window break? This is where the patient escaped. Be careful of the glass on the floor. I need to see this patient. You haven't swept file. it up? Ah, you mean patient number 68? What do you want to know, officer? I've spent so much time with everyone here that I can practically recite their files from memory. Hold up. Why is this gate open? No wonder you're trying to cover up how easy it is to slip out of here. All the doors are unlocked. Unlocked? Ah, yeah, that was me. I apologize. I was in such a hurry to greet you earlier, I forgot to lock it behind me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, though. I've been here the whole time. I can assure you mm -hmm. that no one else escaped. Let's check inside. This is our day room. As you can see, all our patients are quite well cared for, wouldn't you say? Nice decor in board games doesn't change the fact board that games. they're still stuck in a mental facility. Hey, hey, new arrivals! Grab your clothes and toiletries! Huh? Who are you? None of your concern. Pick your seat and sit down. I don't want any trouble. Who's this guy? Patient number 27 has a non-bizarre grandiose delusional disorder. He thinks he's a caregiver here. The hospital is short-handed, so we usually leave him be. <clears throat> Saves us from having to hire more help. People here are more nutso than I thought. What's she doing? Watching TV. But the TV isn't even on. What's your name? Patient 42 suffers from severe social anxiety that manifests as selective mutism. She talks to no one. So you put her in a mental hospital? Yeah, these two are gonna be and any not help. therapy? Let's split up and canvas Poor the baby. rest of the place. Check the room over there, would you? On it. <laughs> Bye. Are you both patients here? Oh, oh God! Oh God! My stomach! I, I, I sorry! I, 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 hey. I gotta go. And just where do you think oh, you're sorry. going, pal? Sit back down. You can leave when I say oh. you can leave, which is after you've answered my questions. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. Both of you, sit down and behave yourselves. I want you to answer the officer's questions. Also, officer, I don't understand what you hope to gain by interrogating these patients. That's a nice costume you got there, officer. Pretty convincing, even. <clears throat> Your lines, on the other hand, have room for improvement. You can't start off that strong. You lose any sense of foreshadowing. Just makes the audience feel... Are you the director? We've a nickname patient 49. Mr. Director, believe it or not, he suffers from something called the Truman Show delusion. In his mind, mm. he's making a masterpiece, and we're all just actors. We rely on role-playing therapy to treat patients like these. Trying to interrupt or correct him would just get us nowhere. But if we play along, he'll calm down soon enough. Mr. Director? Hmm. I'd like to ask you a few questions. 
Who are you, really? Look me straight in the eye. That's how you do it. Much better, much better. You gotta have a quiet sense of intimidation. You don't need a shout to be coercive. Go back and re-enter through the door. Let's shoot this scene again. What the hell? Please, officer, he meant no harm. Remember, I mentioned some of our patients are likely to initiate contact. Well, what about that one, huh? Mr. Bathroom Emergency. Mm. Was that real? Or just some excuse so we could leave? Him? Wouldn't you like to know? He's a thief. <gasps> hey! That, 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 that's defamation, you hear me? I'm a law-abiding citizen. Behave! Patient number 36 suffers from an impulse control disorder commonly known as kleptomania. Uh. He simply cannot stop himself from stealing. Doesn't matter the person or place. <laughs> I didn't realize sticky fingers were a disease. But he's already in here, so why'd he try to run? Old habits die hard, I suppose. This one was constantly being hounded by the police, mm. arrested multiple times. The sight of you probably triggered a conditioned response from him. A bullshit! Just ask around, when did I ever get caught, huh? Ha, mm. You're saying you never got caught? Then why did you end up here, hmm? Mm -hmm. He was a repeat offender, you see, always stealing old phones. The police found it so odd oh. that they gave him a psychiatric evaluation. And wouldn't you know it? Are you clever? He was certifiable. So instead of sending him to prison, they sent him here. Quite the nutcase. Mickey I see. Ocean? Yeah, well, we are doing our best to treat them. Let's check the next room. I'm gonna assume that he's clapped, but until someone names him. The way I see it, officer. This wasn't that big of an issue to Are begin you with. done, Tony? No. Why is this room locked? That mm -hmm. is Fuck that guy. Seclusion room. Open it. <laughs> I would strongly advise against that. Anybody in there? Who the fuck's out there? You get in here, you cocksucker! I'm gonna kill ya! Oh. I'm gonna kill all of ya! I must phone you. This He's not fucking around. Dangerous. He suffers from episodes of acute mania and violent psychosis. I told you to open this door. Just do it. All right, all right. Just give me a second. I need to find the key. Which one was it again? This one? No, not this one. This will only take a second, I assure you. Ah, here it is. Ooh. Great. Open it up. I'll just wait out here. Fuck are you? I'm gonna straight up bash your fucking brains in all right i'm gonna need you to calm down sir you get that fucking duck away from me you hear he fucked me up i can't think straight i'm gonna slit his fucking throat you <laughs> hear that huh doc huh i'm gonna fucking murder you tell the doctor he can leave elvira jeez oh the police hold on We'll take it from here. You can leave now. I'm not sure how interviewing someone like him will help, but you're the police, not me. Just be careful. Hmm. He's gone. It's safe to talk now. Damn, Tony, Tony, my man! Look at you in uniform. Could have fooled even me. Whoa. Keep your voice down. Though, uh, say the same about you. You almost gave me a scare with all that crazy talk. What's it called again? Rabies, idiot. Rabies! Elvira. Charming as always, I see. Jokes aside, what have you found? There's a whole lot of people out there that have got their eyes on Ghost's secret stash. Ooh. You look around at all? Eh, not much. Already talked to two patients. Crazy guy called Mr. Director and some thief. Gotta say. They both seem totally fucked up, to put it mildly. What about you? Who did you talk to? Just mm. some delusional reporter. Oh, and a schizophrenic called Silver Spoon. Just like you said, though, both a hundred percent loony. Guess we're Ooh. on the same page, then. Wait, so you haven't found anything yet? So why'd you call us up here? I didn't see him, but... I know where to find him. Ooh. How so? Process of elimination. At first, I didn't know what to do. No one seemed to be faking it. 
But then I discovered seclusion room number four at the end of this very hallway. Ooh. Never seen it unlocked, but I know someone's inside because the caregiver brings food there twice a day. So I played the manic card and I beat up a doctor named George, which got George. me thrown in here. Now I can keep an eye on things from the privacy of right next door. And if all the other patients are legit crazy, whoever's in that room is ghost. Mm. I mean, the logic fits, right? Well, look at you, Sherlock McMurphy. All right, then. Time to see who's behind door number four. Get the key That's from the doctor. Three doors. Wait. Something doesn't add up. What about the escaped patient? Patient number 68. Could he be ghost? Nah. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Why would ghost want to get out? He got himself committed on purpose, remember? Mm -hmm. To hide from people who want his money and his life. He knows he's a dead man if he gets out. You have a point. Okay, I'll get the key. Excuse nope, me, they're not doc. talking them. I back. need you to turn over the key to room four. Huh? Who are you? How did you get in? I'm a police officer. We're here to investigate a case. Police? Who let you in? Do you have a search warrant? Of course I do. It's right in here. Uh oh. Y yeah, right there. Just on that table over there. Ah! No. Hey, why'd you knock out George? What did he do? Was in what did he do? Here. Wanted to see our search warrant. <laughs> what did he see do? See if he's got the key on him. Here, found them. Tony and I'll check out room four. You clean this up. On it. Bye, George. Uh, 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 uh. Which the one's the hell kind of noises uh, are you making? No fire up. Maybe one of the bigger ones. Hello? Anybody in here? We know you're in here, Ghost. Just come on out already. What? What? Empty. He escaped them. What's going on here? Don't tell me our ghost made like a ghost. This doesn't make any sense. Mm. This room's at the very end of the hall. He'd have to go by my room to get out. And I've had eyes like a hawk on that door this whole damn time. You have Help. to sleep at some point. I paying attention during that whole crazy act earlier. No, man. Something's not right. Look at the dust on the floor. Gotta be at least an inch thick. Oh my god, sets an of inch? in here are yours and mine. No one's been in here for a long time. I'll be damned. But there's no way in hell I was wrong. Let me check again. No one under the bed. Huh. <laughs> what about this big chest here? You don't think he hid the money in it, do you? A chest? Wait, don't touch it. Oh. What the? A trap? That fucker played us like a fiddle. Now he knows we're here. We need to pull out. And here I thought fiddlers stuck to roofs nowadays. You know, I'd much prefer you use that mental energy to get us the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, because I can just waltz out of here looking like this. All we need is a little impulse. Tony, arrest him. We'll escort him right out of the building. Huh, good arrest? idea. Arrest? That's much. We've got our man. Let's get back to the precinct. You got the wrong guy! Move it! I'm sick, I right, tell you! Bolton, Emily. Can't do this to me! And the bomb goes off. Fascinating. Where does the little German guy go? Because that's not George. They're coming up. Okay, hold on. Go over there to talk about the window.
We're going here to talk to the director. Why is the And where did he go? How was I doing, Mr. Director? Oh shit, he's like not a little German boy at all. Yeah? It was an exceptional performance. Not only did you deliver your lines with passion and bravado, your improvisation was on point. Always adjusting your lines and tones to correspond with the other actor's delivery? You truly are a master thespian! Yeah, well, you didn't have to give me such a hard time! Sorry. Occupational hazard. Mm. Once I get in character, I'm no longer reciting lines. I am the character. Now, I don't like to brag, but <laughs> that wasn't even the best performance I ever given. For most of my roles, I've done months of research. If I had more time, I'd have checked myself into a real mental hospital for at least six months. Stanislavski's system pushes me to fully embody my characters mm -hmm. by learning how they really live. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, what about the cops? Have they left? Good thing you heard the siren and figured out a plan quick. If you hadn't sent me out there to stall them, God knows what they would have found by now. What are they even investigating? The runaway patient? Yeah, that's what they said. But, at least to me it seemed like that was just a cover-up. Mm -hmm. They didn't even check out the room where number 68 escaped. They barely even looked out the window, too. Nope. Both of them went straight to the patient rooms. Mm -hmm. You don't think they're looking for Jennifer? Could they be on to our plan? At first, that's what I thought, too. But now, not so sure. Seemed more like they were going around looking for someone sane. Then they've lost their minds as well. Looking for sane people inside a mental hospital? Cops are a bunch of idiots anyway. I'm gonna go out and check again. I'll let you know. I'll go check room one as well. Let's go! Don't wait for me! James? You! Stay away from the gate! Get your ass back to the day room! For crying out loud! You really think you're a caregiver, huh? Oh. Mm. What the hell's going on? Why were the police here? Things are getting out of control. I was just playing along with Mr. Director and the other crackpots, right? Figured if we really did take over the hospital, it'd be much easier to look for ghosts. Mm. No way it's a coincidence. You notice anything off about those cops? Well, they were definitely looking for someone. That much was obvious. But the way they were interrogating every single patient makes me think they're after ghost too mm. why would the authorities suddenly be searching for him until we got that tip everyone thought he was dead maybe they got it too anyway what have you found so far i haven't locked down ghost yet but i did find his plan b plan b pure coincidence actually the tv remote went missing you see mm. the button on the tv doesn't work either got me curious so one day I volunteered to cover Ray's night shift after everyone left the room I opened the TV set mm -hmm. guess what I found a bomb bingo a bomb anyone turns that thing on it'll explode oh. I bet that's probably why he took the remote that's further proof it was ghost who blew up the police station oh. to kill his crew and fake his own death Raven? But why would he plant another one in the same place? Dwight is here. That's why I said it must be his plan B. Sure, the hospital's been a safe place to lay low, but someone clearly knows he's still alive. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put a bounty on his head and we wouldn't be in here. Mm. Ghost probably planted the bomb for just such an occasion as this. He can blow the place sky high and vanish into the wind again. Poof. Sounds mm. right up his alley. Anyone who sees his face dies. Not this time. <laughs> Check this out. What the hell is that thing? Looks like some kind of sci-fi gizmo. It's a microcontroller infrared scrambler. 
You got oh. it from a catalog for twenty nine ninety five. Damn. Batteries not included. Damn. I don't get it. This is my plan B. When Ghost tries to blow this whole place to smithereens, this thing will jam the signal from the remote. The TV won't go boom, and we grab whoever's holding the clicker. Mm. Now that's smart. Then all we have to do is cuff them and collect our reward before the cops swoop in and steal all the credit. Oh. Huh? Is that the alarm? What the hell? I didn't even know this hospital had an alarm system. Mm. Stupid cops. They probably triggered the trap that Ghost set up. Fuck. Months of work <laughs> down the drain. What do we do now? Ghost is gonna have to make a move now. So let's go nab the son of a bitch. All right, I'll follow your lead. The day room is the best place to start. He ain't in the library or the exam rooms, so he'll have to come through there the before library? he can escape. Before you can watch it, <laughs> there's this thing What's called that? The You're holding, Emily. No. Emily. Oh, Emily, stop! <laughs> okay. Ooh, so there's plots on plots. Who are the real mental patients? Not McMurphy and not James and not the little German boy who still doesn't have a name. Who are you, little German boy? I wish to know. George, who are you in here with? Why is it you want to maestro. meet you here, George? Actually, I wanted to ask you a favor, maestro. You're an expert when it comes to art, yes? I was hoping you could evaluate a painting for me. <laughs> You've come to the right person. Not to boast, but uh, a piece's price can increase considerably if I say good things about it. Mm. Of course, of course. Please, sit. The picture's right here. If you could just take a look. What is this? This isn't artwork. This is a map. Indulge me if you mm. would. And listen to the music. Anything? There is something. Wait. Mm. I need to... Uh, Get my thoughts straight. Uh, take your time. Hmm. Man, you really take your time. I, I see it now. Tell me, what do you see? I see a, an interrogation. Yes, inside a police station. Mm -hmm. Who are the police interrogating? I don't... Oh, wait. Yes. I know this voice. Mm -hmm. Silver Spoon? Silver Spoon? What are they questioning Silver Spoon about? Something about drugs. Drugs. Yes, I remember Silver Spoon mentioning oh, this before. Wait a minute. Excellent. Let's move on to the next picture. Oh, wait a minute. Are are we just in an asylum? Like, yeah, obviously this is been a hospital, but you, you hear me out. Silver Spoon's the schizophrenic. I bet you I'm gonna go over there and Silver Spoon is gonna have a split twin personality and that's Tyler and Cameron from the first, uh, the first one. Then we have Maestro here from the second. We have talk about Ghost who has the same MO as Raven from the police station, we have the director. All of our people have come back to this one location where again, we're going to be blown the fuck up. Oh, 
that's gonna be spicy. Another one? What about the painting you said I was here to evaluate? What's going on? What are you doing to me? Don't worry, Maestro. It's You're just using a small the test. fucking one more picture. And You're using done. the audio thing on uh, poor Maestro. Another map? Do you recognize this place? Mm, it looks familiar. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, an art gallery. Describe the art gallery for me. It's crowded. An exhibition will start soon. Wait. There's an empty, empty frame. frame. But why? Exactly. Mm. Why is that? Give me just a... A moment. You're using the detective thing. It can't be that either. But then... Who took it? The, the real painting. Oh. It's fine. Take your time. George! You naughty man! Is this what's going on with us? Are we, like, in the other room over there? Being shown pictures? Jesus, you really take your fucking time, Maestro. Oh, um, uh, oh it's Sean. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, and Ms. Reeves is here too. Ms. Reeves is here too. Oh my goodness. The painting was stolen someone stole my painting was stolen no. several times maestro that's not it i had my own painting stolen it, it was part of my exhibition i spent so much time and effort on my painting mm. i would never let someone steal it it was all part of my plan <laughs> yes the painting was retrieved in the end too the lost art return <laughs> mm. Your symptoms haven't improved. What are you talking about? Didn't you ask me to evaluate paintings for you? This was an evaluation, except it was a psychiatric one. George. We call it the thematic apperception test. What? A psychiatric evaluation? Yes. Tailor made for your symptoms. Mm. I also use role play therapy to supplement the effects. Unfortunately, the results are far from promising. I... What's wrong with me, exactly? We used images to hypnotize you. Oh. Allowing you to see and hear things from your past. Oh my God. When you saw an interrogation, you could remember the story Silver Spoon told you. The problem is, when you saw the image reflecting yourself, you weren't able to differentiate between delusion and reality. Mm. You sank further and further into your own fantasy story, mm. allowing you to escape from the bleakness of your own reality. Mm. You staged the whole theft. Quite the coincidence, and a little too convenient, don't you think? Mm. George! Doctor! What you said... I don't quite understand. Don't worry about it. You know everything you need to know. Mm. Now, answer me one question. Who are you? I'm the ma... No. Oh? No, I'm... Mm. Patient number 29. Yes. There you go. Perfect. Damn. Now, just make sure you keep taking your medication on time. And trust me, you will get better. All right. Damn. Whoa! Patient 29 shows little improvement. If anything, his symptoms may be worsening. For situations with which he has an anecdotal connection, 
he is able to discern the projected narrative from reality. But in cases where he has direct experience, his ability to distinguish between the two is severely blurred. Hmm. Prognosis remains guarded. I strongly recommend continued treatment with antipsychotic medications, as well as TAT and role-playing therapy to see if conditions improve. And we should schedule him for a full reassessment in six weeks' time. Hmm. Am I sure I just snore us from here? And there's the alarm. Okay. So I want to be in this room. Oh my goodness. That says so many things, and I don't like any of the things that it says. I don't like that they're basically using look at the picture and tell me the story. What are we doing? We're looking at pictures and telling the story. We're gonna come out and be in the fucking mental hospital, aren't we? Nelly. Nelly! What's your right? Huh? What's going on outside? I heard a bunch of people talking. Does she have to be then speaking. It went quiet. Ah, that was Mr. Director telling us about the test. He said we gotta take over the hospital so we can put a stop to it. Also, something about, you know, how the doctors are all actors, and we're really. Shut up! He told us not to tell anyone, didn't he? Whatever. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Hi, Tyler Cameron. Look, you upset her. It's all your fault. I told you to shut up! Hey, Nelly, don't be mad. What's your right? Seriously. You wouldn't understand even if I told you. I know what she's right. Oh, yeah? And how the hell would you know, huh? You ain't her. Well, you ain't me either. How do you know I don't know? Exactly. I ain't you. So I don't know if you know or not. But you certainly ain't her. So you don't know squat, you big ignoramus. <laughs> the spoon. Oh, so you finally decided to talk to me, huh? Do you know who you are? I'm, uh, me, I guess. <laughs> no, you aren't. I'm me. For once, think before you answer. It's not easy. That's why Mr. Director's so terrified about the test. Wait. You know about the test, too? Why wouldn't I? Mm. It's called TAT, and mm. it involves a series of repeated questions that try to get the test subject to make up a logical story based on their own desires, emotions, motives, oh. and personal experiences. Most participants end up projecting their own subconscious onto a character in the made-up story without even realizing it. <laughs> so, that's what it is. Doesn't sound like such a big deal to me. Yes, and it wouldn't be if it were just that. The mm -hmm. problem is, this hospital is doing more than just a simple test. Something much more... intense. Mm -hmm. Like what? They put extreme pressure on the test subjects, causing them to lose themselves in the stories they make up. Even once the test is over, they lose track of reality, which can lead to the development of multiple personalities. Mm -hmm. And those whose minds are already weak, they lose track of who they are altogether. Textbook delusional right there. Ha! <laughs> well, I'll be. No wonder Mr. Director's about to shit his shorts. Don't concern me, though. Oh, yeah? Then how about this scenario? Deep down, you, me, all of us constantly struggle with our own issues. Mm -hmm. Pretty normal, right? Well, during the test, people tend to project those conflicting thoughts onto different characters in the stories they make up. Each thought becomes its own character, constantly mm. engaged in a bitter back and forth argument with its other half. Until finally, they lose the ability to become one again. Mm. That's impossible. Wait, is she talking about us? I'm calling BS! Hey, don't look at me. I'm not the one running the tests. I just wanted to let you know to be prepared. And more importantly, don't forget who you are. No, I'm actually don't kind of intrigued. Who you are. Sounds a little, I don't know, fun. No one's ever been able to give me a run for my money before. Oh, what do you know? It sounds like some kind of, I don't know, metaphysical test. Metaphysical, my ass! It's a scam, pure and simple. Mm. 
And you can't bullshit a bullshitter. I am unscammable. <laughs> oh, shut up. I need to think. Think it never did you any good. Metaphysical. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna hit the hay. That's the toilet. Then that's the toilet. Do you just sit here in silence? Here's Alvera. Are both of you patients here? No. Yes. Speak for yourself. I ain't no lunatic. But you are. I told you I ain't. What's going on here? Are you okay? It was my older brother. He has mental problems. Shut up! I'm as sane as ever. You're the crazy one. I'm crazy? Uh, sorry, officer. I was talking to my brother. All right, then. Ma'am. Mind if I ask what you're in here for? I'm a reporter. Before you got sick, you mean. I actually did want to know what it was that got you committed. Are mm. you a police officer? Yeah. Then, will you believe the things I'm about to tell you? Mm -hmm. Depends. Let me hear them first. I'm a reporter. A few months ago, I received a tip saying this hospital was conducting some kind of clandestine experiments on its patients. Mm -hmm. I disguised myself and checked in to investigate. I've collected all the information I need, but now I can't prove I wasn't sick in the first place, or that I've recovered. So I'm stuck here with no way to publish my findings. Mm. What exactly have you found? Here, they use a treatment method on their patients called TAT, Thematic Apperception Test. But it's not the TAT most people know today. Rather, mm. they use the prototype used back during World War II. Mm. Basically, it brainwashes people. After the test, patients' memories will be completely erased. And they're conditioned as well. They're programmed to respond to certain sounds, after which they'll follow any command. The hospital then goes on to claim they've been cured. But the truth is, they're nothing more than soulless robots. Mm. Tell me, officer, if you were a patient, would you want to be cured that way? You've absolutely got to get me out of here. I have to expose them. Check my notes. I've got all the evidence right here. I gotta say, that sounds more like a sci-fi flick than reality. All right, let me see your notes. Wow, don't skimp on details, do ya? Let me ask you something else. You ever notice any patients in here who seem like they don't belong? Mm -hmm. Like they're faking their illness? Yeah, me. Me. And besides you. Honestly, from what I've seen, <sighs> at least 44% of the patients here are actually sane, but they've been committed regardless. Hmm. Makes me think this hospital's next step is to experiment on normal people. That's quite the theory. What about him, huh? Seems pretty legit. Schizophrenia, maybe. He's sick, but it's not schizophrenia. You made a mistake any layman would make. What he has is called dissociative mm -hmm. identity disorder. That's where you have multiple personalities. In his case, two. Huge difference between that and schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. That I'll have to remember. Wait just a second. Aren't you getting me out of here? Afraid I can't. At least, not yet. I'll come back once our investigation wraps up. <sighs> you don't believe me either, do you? Mm. Oh, Nelly. Why you even bother, Nelly? Journalists are the watchdogs of society. Or haven't you heard? Yeah, and what good did any of that do you, huh? The cops didn't even believe you. <laughs> You've heard about the Unabomber, correct? Huh? Who do you think I am? Of course I heard of him. Mm-hmm. Henry Murray, the inventor of TAT, used his test to evaluate soldiers during World War II. Mm -hmm. During the Cold War, he used it to interrogate spies. Mm -hmm. But did you know that he also gave it to innocent students back in 1959? Mm. Oh, yeah? What's all that got to do with the Unabomber? Are you kidding me? Are you insinuating? Well, it just so happens that a certain 17-year-old boy, Ted Kaczynski, was one of his unwitting test subjects. Nelly. And, well... You know the rest. Over a period of 18 years, he ended up making and sending at least 16 bombs. What I'm trying to say is, destroying someone mentally can have repercussions far beyond one person. Well, I'll be damned. Then that Henry Murray fellow's got blood on his hands, too. I don't know if I'd go that far. Mm. Science and all the experiments that go along with it are, well, 
they're not wrong. It's just that sometimes people can get in so deep that they lose track of the boundaries of morality. I have nothing against the doctors here. Really. I simply want to get the truth out. It's my hope that people can learn to respect humanity while still pursuing science. <sighs> you moved me. A reporter with a heart of gold. <laughs> you know, if Mr. Director had his say, he'd just... Shut up! He told you not to tell anyone! All right, all right, all right. My lips are sealed. What I'm knocking for. Oh. oh. You hear that? Oh. You can hear it too? I thought it was just in my head. No, it's mm. definitely real. Sounds like it's coming from next door. All of your hearing things need to up your meds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go check. Who's that knocking? <laughs> Ray, what are you doing here? Who did this to you? I'll explain everything later. Quick, untie me. I can do that, but only on one condition. Just say it. Wh whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power, of course. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm not crazy so I can get discharged. Consider it done. <clears throat> I knew you weren't crazy a long time ago. Perfect. Then you can get me out of here. Well, I I'll do my best, but, but remember, I'm just a caregiver. The doctors are the ones who have the final say. Oh, speaking of doctors, Jennifer's in the room next door. We gotta save her, too. Dr. Jennifer? <coughs> Doctor? Doctor, wake up! <coughs> You've gotta be Clep. You've gotta be Clep, Mr. Klepto. Someone apparently knocked you out. Got some blood on you there. I remember that much. But why am I in the bathroom? Can't help you there. Wait, you went out cold, Ray. What happened? Huh? Ray. Hey, what are you? Uh, Ray. What the fuck? You killed her. She'll be fine. Anyway, better her than us, right? What are you even talking about? What's going on? Okay, so here's what happened. While you were treating patient number 68 earlier, you remember that, right? I was talking with James. The two of us heard this loud noise all of a sudden, so, so I went to check. Turns out 68 broke the window and took off. By the time I came to check up on you, you were already out cold. I had this mm. cracked ashtray next to you, too. This got me all in a pan. Mm -hmm. So I didn't notice that the gate to the inpatient sector wasn't locked. Next thing I knew, a, a bunch of patients had all gotten out. They, they charged me, tied me up, and threw me in the bathroom. Then, then they dragged you in after I was tied up. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Then Nellie was in on this too? She doesn't really strike me as the violent type. I don't know about that, but I'm not taking any risks. They're all crazy. Who knows what they're capable of? But what is it they're trying to do? And why didn't you call the police when you had the chance? Everything happened so fast. One second, I was trying to figure out what happened to you. The next, those psychos jumped me. Mm. Huh? Where's my phone? Don't tell me they took it. Oh, wait. Oh. God damn it, it's gone! What? <sighs> Not my phone, something else. Ray? Uh, 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 you know, caregivers aren't allowed to bring phones inside the hospital. You know, that's the rule here. The remote, well, Ray? What do we do now, then? We can't even call the police. How many people did you see in her earlier? Don't tell me everyone is in on this. Uh, I saw Clep, Silver Spoon, Oscar, oh right, and Mr. Director. I'm telling you, it was chaos. Mm. There might have been more of them, I don't know. And all of them working together? They're not even suffering from the same illness. This is certainly a first. What do you think they're trying to do? Escape? So, uh, they, they took the keys, but as far as I know, they haven't left. All I could tell was that Mr. Director seemed to be the ringleader. Something about m manipulation 
and brainwash. Then it's a coup? A coup? Yeah, they want to take over the hospital. That's why they didn't escape. You haven't seen George, have you? No. George. Maybe he's still in the treatment room? Nope. Is that the alarm? alarm? Yeah, probably somebody's alarm clock. I wouldn't worry. It's a loud ass alarm clock, then what dude. Are we too? It's only a Your ghost. Of time Ray is ghost. Honestly, I think the two of us can hold them off. Clep, he's basically a stick. Oscar's a wuss. Silver Spoon's lucky if he isn't fighting himself. And Mr. Director, he's an old man. The only reason they got the jump on me last time was because they, they caught me off guard. But you and I, we'll have the element of surprise next time. Mm. Why don't we just sneak into the director's office and use the landline to call the police? Hey, good idea. Come on, let's go. Stay calm. We've got this. No looking around. Just stay quiet and fun. Explosion. Okay. Oh. So that guy in there is definitely Clep. I want to hear. Who are you? Hey, Nick Murphy. Nick Murphy. Three hundred bucks. Pay up. Oh, I know. I know. Got to wait till after I get out. Got no money in this shit hole. Hey, you want to do business with me? You do it my way. That means no credit. I already made an exception letting you try out the phone. And now that you know it works, you got to pay up. Unless you want me to tell Jennifer you stole her phone. <gasps> Don't be a rat. All right, fine. How about I just give it back, huh? Then you can sell it to someone else. No, I, 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 I can live with that. Hand it over. Wait. Before you leave, do you know if they caught patient number 68 yet? The one who escaped. Uh, nope. Not as far as I know. What about the mm. police? They here yet? Now that you mention it, Mr. Director did say he heard a, uh, a siren earlier. Perfect. Anyway, there's a Ah, no, 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 no hard feelings, huh? Uh, next time, if you got money, we can do business. What took you so long? I, I got a business deal. I'll take it care of now, though. Business deal? I told you to lock those two in the bathroom. That's uh, uh I, I did, I, I did. Don't, don't, don't worry. But, uh, but what, what about George, huh? We take care of Jennifer and Ray, but leave George. Shouldn't we lock him up too? Mm. George is conducting one of those brain goggle sound experiments on the maestro. Brain if goggle we interrupt sound them, experiments. There's a chance we'll fry our friend's mind. Fine, well let him be for now. But what if the police decide to barge in there later? I've made arrangements. Oscar will try to send him away. Should he fail, he'll lead the police to us. When mm. that happens, I need you to give a winning performance. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I may not be an actor or anything, but I'm an ace at improv. Hey, well, now what hit him? Perfect. First, we'll take control of the hospital. Then, we'll rescue Maestro. Seriously, though, that test Maestro went to, what's it all about, huh? You guys keep saying he's fucked. What the hell did I do to him in there? I didn't know much about it myself until I spoke to Nelly. She mm. calls it a thematic apperception test, or TAT. TAT? What's with all the acronyms nowadays? Can't hardly tell what the hell something is. Mm. Don't even though it's legit. You know Nelly. She throws Dr. Mumbo Jumbo like this around all the time. Full of shit, if you ask me. Who's to say she's not just making shit up on the fly? You really gonna believe a windbag like her? On yeah. this matter? Yes. It's like I told you already, this isn't a real hospital. No, this is nothing more than a reality show. And the reason you don't remember is for exactly this reason. The test. That TAT has brainwashed all of you. You don't even remember who you really are. Brainwashed? The hell? Yes, all of us. We were participants in this theater verite. Over time, the rest of the crew, mm. the true evil behind us, manipulated our gray matter using these so-called tests. They made us believe we were mental patients. Mental patients. 
Fortunately, my experience as a director allowed me to see through their wiles and maintain Mr. Director my true sense of reality. Emily Meister a professional Spoon? like me can spot an amateur from a mile away. No wonder those doctors keep telling me I'm sick. <laughs> these doctors, they used these tests to toy with our brains, mm -hmm. giving us all sorts of wild hallucinations. Once our heads are adequately scrambled, they give us a new identity. By doing so, they keep us trapped in this never-ending reality show, day by day losing more of our hold on reality. In short, the doctors aren't real doctors, and we aren't real patients. We're nothing but actors in this twisted, cruel production. Mm -hmm. We're the actors? I thought Oscar was the only actor in this place. Is that because his name is Oscar? Patients here. Oh, oh god, oh god, in my stomach. <laughs> Cop should have moved on by now. You want me to take a look, Mr. Director? No, you should stay here. Oscar will handle everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but something don't feel right. That cop from earlier. Like he was checking if we were crazy or not. I mean, for real crazy. You think the hospital sent them? Mm. You may be under something. After all, everyone in this hospital, barring us, of course, was sent by the hospital. They're all part of the masquerade. Mm. No wonder he acted no. so weird. The only thing a cop ever gave me before were a pack down and a pair of cuffs. None of those weird questions. Good that we got you on our side to see through his disguise. I was about ready to piss my pants. Mm -hmm. Honest to God, you know how I feel about five O's. Real cops, fake cops, none of it matters. This hospital wants to drive us crazy, literally. Maybe we should simply play along. Once the day's over and we've taken control of this place, the truth will finally be revealed. Then let me go check it out. If they're gone, we can get started with the plan. Hush, mm. what did I just tell you? For now, we lay low. Boring! <laughs> How was I doing? How was I doing, Mr. Dur- I already had this conversation. For me! Get the fuck out! Stop following me! Did you talk to the police, Silver Spoon? Oh, Spoon, you talk to yourself a lot. Let's just get this half. What's up, buddy? She called you psychotic. She did not! Nellie said, I have disassociative identity disorder. Yeah, but that's another crazy disease, too. Mm. Whatever, I never liked her anyway. Nothing but BS coming out of her mouth. Once I inherit our old man's business and money, I'm gonna hire someone to cap her ass. Mm. Don't say things like that. That's a one-way ticket to jail. Seriously, if you pin this all on me again, I'll boo-hoo! As if you've never thrown me under the bus. You were a brat when we were little, and you're a brat mm. now! Oh, what's a couple of misdemeanors? The old man will forgive me over time. Besides, once you're put away for life, I'll be the only heir. I'll have a proper business to run. Get out of here! What the hell do you know about running a business? Just going All over and over. Leave me out of this. You got it? Then get the fuck out! Stop following me! Did you talk to the police, Silver Spoon? I did! I did too. Did you notice anything strange? That lady cop had a real attitude. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I had schizophrenia. Well, you've got it. You're a complete schizo. Don't interrupt me. Just, just stop talking already. Both of you are giving me a headache. The cop that questioned Silver Spoon was a chick, Mr. Director. That means there's more than one of them. You think they're on to us? Maybe we change the plan? Make a run for it while we still can? I mean, the gate is wide open. No, the show can't end like this. Don't you want to know the truth? After all this time, the lies, the manipulation, don't you crave retribution? Lies ain't the half of it. They probably want to steal my company while I'm not there too. No. Your company? When did it become your company, huh? Oh, shut up about your stupid company. No mm. one cares. Yeah, well, either way, it 
it's time for the darkness here to pay up! Right you are about that. Our plan is already in motion. With the doctors under our control, all we need to do is wait for the police to leave. Then this hospital will be ours. Yeah, well, I still don't get how the police knew to show up at just the right moment. You know, someone must have ratted on us. McMurphy. Hmm, you make a good point. Who could have called the police then? George? Nah, he was already in with the maestro before any of us even did anything. Mm. Probably doesn't even know what's going on. Jennifer then? This could turn out bad for us if the cops were to search the bathroom. Jennifer, <laughs> no, it can't be her. I, I stole a phone. What? I thought <laughs> I told you to lock her up, not steal her phone. Give it here. I did both. Recent calls. Well, the last call she made wasn't to 911. Why don't we try calling it? You can't just do that. We don't know who it'll call. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? <laughs> Hand it over. <sighs> and whose phone is this? Hmm? <laughs> From that stupid cop earlier. Uh, but you know what? Here's what Jennifer is in on it. Who calls a cop directly rather than 911? You stole this from the police? How many other phones have you stolen? Uh, I, 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 I don't got any more phones, but, but I, I do have this. <laughs> you are a real piece of work. Why would you steal a TV remote? From Ray. I got it from Ray earlier. It, it, it just it looks like a phone, you know? Even fits in your hand like one. I, I couldn't resist. Mm. Huh? Uh, that a police siren? Which part of stick to the script don't you understand? If you would have just followed your lines, you wouldn't have run the risk of getting us all into trouble. Now, if the police come back here, our plan is ruined. Mm. All our efforts down the drain. I'll keep the doctor's phone for now. You return both of those, but don't get caught. But I, I never learned to... To, to return stuff. Make it happen. All right, all right. That's all. I'm gonna give Emily the remote. Hey, Emily, you gotta turn that thing on before you can watch it. <laughs> There's this thing called a You're remote. Holding, Emily. You can't do this to me. No. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. So who do we need to follow around? James and I want to see if Ray has anything in the bathroom. But I'm I'm fairly certain Ray is ghost because if you know Oscar and James's conversation was correct and that um whoever has the remote is the one who planted the bomb in the TV, then Ray had the remote, which means Ray is ghost. And the real mental patients are Mr. Director, Clep, Spoon, Maestro, and Emily. And if there's a sixth person, we attack on Nelly. You guys say anything in here? Or are you just unconscious for the whole time until Nelly gets you? Yeah, okay. It's just the knocking. Hi, James. Okay, and then James doesn't say anything, so answers. The oh, it's just a tick box. Okay. Mr. Director, Maestro, Spoon, and Clep, and Emily. Who is Ghost? I believe that Ghost is Ray. So, let's see. Oh, thank God. We're so right. We're so good. I love this. Excellent work, detective. Thank you. We didn't get a flashback. I have just one last question for you. Yeah? Ooh. I 
have just one oh. last question. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, baby. Who are you? Am I Clep? Am I Cameron? Am I Tyler? Emily Maestro, Mr. Director, the detective, or escaped number 68? Oh, that's so cool. I am the detective. I'm a detective. That's my job. I do this. Congratulations, detective. You passed the final test. By now, you've probably realized the last case was mixed with some of the voices from previous ones. Mm -hmm. It threw the other testers into a state of deep confusion, but you didn't lose yourself like they did, mm. which means you are now qualified to call yourself a true acoustic detective. <laughs> Since you've mastered the system, you can take it you with can you. You can take it with you! You never know when it might come in handy. And if you hear any residual voices or auditory hallucinations, I trust you'll master those too. In time. That concludes the exam, detective. <laughs> Thank you again for participating. It exceeded all of my expectations. You're free to leave whenever you like. And I can just go. Bye. See ya. Oh. Thank you again for oh. participating. It exceeded all of my expectations. You're free to leave whenever you like. And there I go. Who are you? Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. State your name. You don't recognize your old pal? What the hell's going on? I'm a ball
all fucking righty then. This is such a cool game. Oh man, I love things that make you think and make you puzzle and then twist it all at the end. Because I bet you, I bet you, there were different endings there for every single, maybe not every single, because, you know, Cameron and Tyler are the same person, but... Or are they? Ooh, or are they? But at the very least, there's a different option for if you pick, oh, I'm the detective, or I'm patient 68, or even maybe, oh, I'm maestro. Oh, that is so cool. And I will say there is, res I don't know why it says resume, the lethal script. We have a DLC mission, baby. But uh, I'll get to that. Oh, don't you worry. We're getting there. <laughs>